1 is equal to 2, proof. My friend showed me this one random evening and I'm kind of stumped it. Any explanation is to what's going wrong here. Okay, this right here is a very well known false proof for 1 is equal to 2 and we'll be using calculus derivative to do so. Let's have a look. First, we are going to start off by saying x is equal to 1 plus 1 plus dot 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 plus 1. We'll think about how many ones do we need though? If you want to get to x, of course we need x many ones, right? So we put down 1 x times and then we just add them up together. Alright, then we are going to take a look at x squared, which of course we know that's the same as x times x. And what we'll do next is I'm going to replace this red x with all these ones. So we have x right here times 1 plus 1 plus dot 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 up to 1 right here. And again, remember, we wrote down the 1 x times. Yeah? And then, of course, we have the x in the front. We can go ahead and just distribute the x inside. So we end up with x plus x plus dot dot dot. And of course, the last one will also be x as well. How many x did we write down? Well, we wrote down the x, x many times. So, we are saying that x squared is just all this. So let me put that down. x squared equals x plus x plus dot 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 up to x. And again, we have x many x's. We wrote down the x, x times. Take a look at this. We are going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. On the left hand side, taking the derivative of our x squared, we just get 2x. On the right hand side, when we differentiate x, of course we get 1. So this is 1. And then we add, the derivative of this is 1. Same thing, right, for the rest. So plus dot dot dot, all 1's, and then up to the last one will also be 1. But how many 1's do we have here? Well, again, it must be x of them, right? So. On the left hand side, we have 2x. And on the right hand side, this right here is just like the situation here. We have x. So we see we have 2x is equal to x. Now let's divide both sides by x. We just end up with 2 equals 1. Yeah, I know the word is different, but this is wrong already. So it doesn't matter what's the word, right? So now, the main question is like, where did this go wrong? Ready? Alright, I will say the very first line. This right here is bad. Right? Don't do that, of course. There are just certain things that you shouldn't do because once you do it, you end up with something nonsense. Of course, if you want to just do this for fun, go ahead, be my guest. But if you want to do this like legitimately, of course this is not legitimate. That's why you end up with like a like, ridiculous result. So how come this is incorrect though? This right here, if you want to break it down as like a lot of ones adding, it only works if x is a positive whole number. So right here, if you want to say 17, of course you can say 1 plus 1 plus da 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 up to 1, yeah? And then you can say we wrote down the 1 17 times. So here we have 17 ones. That is okay. But what if you have, let's say, 2 thirds? Because remember, when we take the derivative, right, this right here, x, can be any real numbers, yeah? If you have 2 thirds, how can I write 2 thirds of 1's? 2 thirds many 1's, that I'm stuck, like, how do I do that? I can't, right, I can't. So, that does not make sense, of course, the rest doesn't make sense. x squared equals this, yeah, just, just wrong. So don't do that, that's all. And in fact, if you want to you know, have a little bit more fun, what you can argue is the following as well. You see earlier, I just differentiate all these x's and I get ones. But how about, did I differentiate this x? No, we didn't. So you can also play around with that, but I don't want to go in there because this right here is just bad. So that right there doesn't really do us any good anyway. So. That, that's it.